Yo, what's good, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. We know that Dane Whitman will appear in the upcoming Eternals movie. So let's go ahead and find out who is the Black Knight. The modern-day Black Knight's true name is Dane Whitman. Now, the legacy of the Black Knight goes way back to the 6th century. Although Camelot was protected by King Arthur Pendragon's Knights of the Round Table, Merlin also created the Black Knight, which was originally an empty suit of armor that was enchanted. Merlin then chose a mortal to become the Black Knight, Sir Percy of Scandia. Merlin guided Percy to a mystical pool of blood and starstone, which was an ebony meteorite which had fallen to the earth. Merlin guided him in making four weapons from the Star Stone. The stone's radiance would make any weapon forged by it invincible. He forged four items, a chalice, a staff, sword, and shield, then cooled them with the sacred blood from the pool. Merlin only allowed him to select one of the items. Percy chose the ebony blade. Merlin then destroyed all the others, or so he thought. The ebony blade was indestructible and able to slice through anything and protected its wielder from harm. The ebony blade can deflect, disrupt, absorb, and penetrate energy fields, including mystical energy. But it also carried a curse with it. The blade would corrupt its user and compel them to seek bloodshed. In the modern era, Nathan Garrett, Whitman's uncle, visited Garrett's castle and encountered the spirit of Sir Percy. The spirit offered him a chance to become the Black Knight, but he was unworthy and could not pull free the ebony blade. Pissed off, he used the family legacy to commit crime. As the Black Knight, he became an armored criminal and rode a genetically engineered horse with wings. He took a fatal fall from his horse in a battle with Iron Man. Dying, he beckoned his nephew, Dane Whitman, and asked him to redeem the family legacy by serving for justice. Dane accepted the task and began practicing with his uncle's technology, as well as making his own winged horse named Aragorn. Dane was a scientist. He has a master's degree in physics, but is knowledgeable in many sciences and technologies, like mechanical and genetic engineering. Even after becoming exposed to magic, he tends to turn to technology for an answer. Whitman and his assistant Norris created a magnetic ray meant to communicate with outer space life forms. They actually made contact with an exiled Magneto, who used the transmission to return to Earth. Whitman donned his Black Knight outfit for the first time and went to warn the Avengers, who mistook him for his supervillain uncle and attacked him. They were made aware of their mistake, and the Black Knight rode off. Whitman inherited the family castle. That's where he came upon the ebony blade and was able to wield the blade. Sir Percy's spirit schooled him on the blade's history as well as the curse. Whitman would now wield the ebony blade as the Black Knight. He assisted the Avengers by infiltrating Ultron's Masters of Evil, helping the Avengers to defeat them. Whitman split his time between America and England, assisting the Avengers when he could. He was eventually granted full membership as an Avenger after rescuing them from Kang the Conqueror. He was later seduced and turned to stone by the Enchantress. His spirit ended up in the 12th century in the body of one of his ancestors, Echobar Garrington. He fought in the Crusades until his spirit was sent back to his original body in modern times. A short time after returning to the modern era, he teamed with Captain Britain to defend Otherworld. He then returned to America and rejoined the Avengers. When Namor used the ebony blade to kill Leviathan, the curse warped Whitman's mind and began to turn his body to Starstone. He was eventually returned to normal when Sir Percy sacrificed his spirit to save him. The Black Knight then began using an energy sword he designed to avoid any more effects of the curse. His relationship with two of his Avenger teammates made things complicated for him. He was in love with Crystal, who was the wife of Quicksilver, but the two were estranged. But he also had feelings for the Eternal Xerxes, who was deeply in love with him. Through a series of events, he ended up with Xerxes, who had become a little too crazy to remain on Earth. 
The two left and went into an interdimensional self-imposed exile. They saw numerous adventures and the Black Knight was briefly the leader of Ultra Force. After a while, they felt it was safe for them to return to present-day Earth. After returning, the two split and the Black Knight joined the Heroes for Hire. It was at that time the Lady of the Lake declared Whitman the latest mortal incantation of Pendragon and he was made the earthly champion of Avalon. He was given a new magical winged horse and mystical weapons by her. He later left the Heroes for Hire to serve as the leader of the High Evolutionary's Knights of Wondergore. He briefly joined an Excalibur team who helped Captain Britain. He also assisted the Avengers against Mordred, Morgan Le Fay, the Blood Wraith, and Kang the Conqueror. Captain Britain offered him a full-time Excalibur membership, but the Black Knight declined. Will we actually see the Black Knight suit up in the Eternals movie, or will he just be a big tease for the moment? As always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.